So I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that would happen. Did you reach Radan and Elder Ring? Dude, I fucking destroyed Radan for the record. All right, let's watch this now. South Korea's untouchable families. We're moving away from Russia to South Korea. I want to see. This video seems sick. Let's look at some South Korean oligarchs. Ms. Cho forced the plane to return to the gate where she had the head of the cabin crew kicked off. She was served macadamia nuts in a bag instead of on a plate. What? After the story sparked outrage throughout South Korea and much of the world, she resigned some of her duties, though she's apparently keeping her title at Korean Air. Large businesses that make up a major portion of the country's economy that are owned by a single family. We refer to these companies as the Che Balls. Che Ball? South Korea is rich. They live in a completely different world to us. Unless we're born into that kind of family, we can't climb up. Ooh, this video is gonna be awesome. J Ball? It has become common knowledge that the J Balls hold omnipotent power and no one can touch them. I'm fucking soy facing a little bit. I'm excited about this video. These are the Squid Game motherfuckers. Can you at least try to pick up the phonetic patterns in Korean? Who the fuck thinks it's pronounced Che Balls? Me, bro. Me, okay? My bad, okay? I don't fucking know. Shut the fuck up. This video is anti-Semitic. Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? There isn't anything special about me. I started driving taxis around the age of 25. Then I got married to Yumi's mom and had Yumi. I had a strong sense of pride as a father. And I was very happy. Kang Ki Hwang, father of Yumi Hwang. Family situation was not so good back then. I was driving taxis and I wasn't learning a lot, earning a lot. Couldn't afford to send Yumi to the university. At the time, Samsung requested high schools to recommend smart and obedient students to work at their company. Yumi applied at the time. Uh oh, what the fuck's about to happen, bro? She went to work for Samsung, hoping to save money for her future wedding. Uh oh. And she wanted to help pay for her younger brother's university tuition. Uh oh. Samsung is a large conglomerate in Korea, salaries are high, and they offer good staff benefits. A lot of people congratulated Yumi and said good things about her getting a job at Samsung. I was so proud that she got a job at the semiconductor factory. Those who are shaping the future by reinventing the present. It is my pleasure to introduce the Galax Note 10. What happened? Did Samsung explosive device uh, kill her or something? What the fuck happened? Samsung's brand value remains in second place globally. The company is currently worth 81 billion US dollars. 
Sun Tak Hong, account and advisor, and people saw there for participatory democracy. They compete and win against Apple and Japanese and Chinese corporations globally, and that makes us proud. Chatters be like, this is uh, fucking anti-South Korea propaganda. You must be an advocate for North Korea. My answer to that is yes. What are you going to do about it? The Jusha ideology lives on. The revolutionary self-determines. The, the revolutionary principles of self-determination live on within the heart of every Korean. Sorry, <clears throat> let's continue. Semiconductor industry in the Samsung is the top globally. Jusha is right wing. What the fuck, dude? It's a joke, man. Yes, I don't. I am not an advocate for the the unironically non-Marxist Leninist uh, and and fucking you know monarchy uh, in North Korea. Please stop. Then we can knock there. South Korea became known because of Samsung. Samsung has business in electronics, finance. They run hotel businesses, trading. They're so diverse, it's so obvious that they're influential. Yeah, I'm not going to read everything. I'm sorry. All their subsidiaries bring in some projected accounts for 20% of Korea's GDP. God damn. People feel proud of their nephews or sons getting the Samsung electronics. My name is Young Hwa Sim. I am a junior. And the university. I'm currently 있습니다. preparing to look for a job. Samsung, Hyundai, SK, 세개 정도. 수능 때도 서울대, 고대, 연대 그랬다면. The aim of our CSAT. Samsung, Hyundai, SK. Getting companies like Samsung, Hyundai, SK. 옆에서 봐도 공부하고 있고. 옆을 또 보면 공부하고 있고. 내 앞에도 공부하고 뒤에도 공부하고. 대기업에 가고 싶다는 선택지. The only choice is to get into the conglomerates. No other option than that, because salary gap is almost double. Welfare benefits are different. But really, more than that, it's about how people look at you. As if you have failed if you don't get into the conglomerates. There is no one around me who says, I want to get into a small or medium-sized business. They try for the big conglomerates first, and if they don't get in, they just go elsewhere and don't tell anyone about it, and I don't hear from them ever again. It's not easy to get into the conglomerate. Wait, is this real? Do you know how Samsung became Korea's top conglomerate? The director of South Korea gave them Japan's reparations instead of the people? What? Dictator, the director. What am I doing? The dictator of South Korea gave them Japan's reparations instead of the people? Are you serious? They remind me of Arasaka from Cyberpunk? Cyberpunk? Yeah. It's not easy to get into the conglomerates. <laughs> Unlike Europe or America, there's no rolling recruitment in Korea. Those companies will only recruit once or twice a year at the same time. Jones Tan Savage is right, by the way. It says, more evidence that we're crossing the point where national economies that gave rise to local systems of oppression are now international ones that give rise to global systems of oppression. Humanita humanity is fucked in the era of global capital. Yes, everywhere is a little baby America. Everywhere is a little baby capitalist uh, country. And of course, every single place that uh, that follows the the uh, mechanism of of Western development, whether by force 
or uh, personally are interested in doing that are also following along the exact same fucking, uh, the exact same uh, bad parts of, of capitalism, cap specifically capital accumulation at the top and the profound amount of control uh, that, that capital owners have over their bourgeois capitalist democracy, uh, their uh, bourgeois capitalist uh, system of governance. So there are practice books to prepare for the aptitude tests. Holy shit, it's often prepared for the same way as a college entrance exam? That's crazy. Samsung, LG, and SK have it, but since Samsung in particular has so many applicants, theirs is often referred to as the Samsung public exam? Why doesn't the why don't they just own it? Why don't they just like take it over and nationalize it? In an average year, as many as 500,000 graduating students apply to work for the Chebol conglomerates. That's 73% of all fresh graduates in a given year. What the fuck? My name is Sunny Pro, uh, economics professor at Seoul Regional University. As a consequence of Chebol's. My Korean friend had to do a one month internship before he could do his job interview? What? will be America with robot dogs and drones roaming the streets to be sure people behave and go to work. Trump or Republicans will bring in fake democracy when they steal midterms. What? Economic development. Jebel dominated Korean economy. Democracy is now replaced by corporatocracy. This is crony capitalism, not real capitalism. We need to deregulate the markets and allow for more competition. Yeah, you guys ever see that meme where it's like, real socialism hasn't been tried, and it's like a fucking list of all the countries, right? Or real communism hasn't been tried, which unironically is true. None of them are stateless, borderless, classless, moneyless societies. But everybody always fucking claims that like real capitalism, this ain't real capitalism. Dog, this is capitalism. Every single instance of deregulation has led to this. This is not the fucking government uh, uh, personally... Like every, every single, every single instance of deregulation has led to this level of monopolization. Okay. Including the top of the hour ad break, which comes at the top of every hour and impacts all. Okay. Impacts everyone unconditionally, unless, unless you, my friend are subscribed for $5 or for free. Okay. As long as you're subscribed for $5 or for free, you can avoid the top of the hour ad break. Okay, you can use a Twitch Prime, which is free, to avoid the top of the hour ad break. But other than that, you know, you're fucked. You're about to see the ad break now. D Pipes, thank you for allowing five people to no longer see the ads with your five gifted subs. Here's the one minute ad break now. Large business groups that make up a major portion of the country's economy. And that are owned by a single family. We refer to these companies as Chebols. Each Chebol owns its own consumer depositing bank, so their funding is self sustaining. It's insane. It's like if Unilever owned Bank of America or Disney owned Chase. Yo, that's like. That's like mega capitalism. Deregulation and free trade is literally what results in the complete decimation of the African continent by Europeans in the 20th century through resource extraction. Keck W. You can't say that and then throw a slap of Keck W on its ass, chatter. <laughs> Korea did not have proper capital market in the 60s and 70s. Businesses needed funds to invest. Uh-oh. We're looking at Korea in the 60s and 70s. There's going to be some fucking TOS shit right now, okay? I, I am a little worried. But they could not take out loans from abroad due to their low credibility. So the government intervened and brought in funds from above and distributed them to corporations. The J balls were formed in the 1970s, heavy industrialization. And the government at the time distributed specific industries to each of them. Electronics was assigned to Samsung, motor vehicles were given to Hyundai. Dai. And these new J balls grew rapidly. 
Such government-led J-Ball-centric development was successful. Korea harvested unprecedented success in the following 30 years. Major corporations are Samsung, Hyundai Motors, SK, and LG. The top four J-Balls in their constitution of the economy and market capitalization became much bigger in the last 10 years. Listen, all I'm saying is, if you are going to personally okay, have a dictatorship, divvying out the sums to uh, you know, individual oligarchs or individual families and then having them maintain all the profits for themselves and, and keep all the profits for themselves and continue to take advantage of um, the, the oligopoly that they have created, that you have created, that is far less preferable to having a authoritarian uh, single party construct or single party system that you have created that at the very least is able to bully such families and then uh, take their wealth away from them at a moment's notice. Obviously, I don't need to say more. I think you understand the point I am uh, making here, uh, which is uh, the Chinese system. Where, at the very least, the government can and does regularly flex its awesome powers that it has over uh, the, the uh, corporations which it will routinely... Um, you know, will we'll routinely bully. Isn't that just statism? No, that's not communism for the record. I mean, technically, depending on if you're an anarcho-capitalist or not, um, you will see all manner of taxation is theft, okay? I just think that it's like a uh, super tax. The way I look at what uh, Xi Jinping does and the Chinese Communist Party does is... Uh, what I like to call a super tax, which is super good. And I'm actually a fan of and advocate for and wish we had the balls to do here in the United States of America. Um, my ex just posted a pic on IG showing off her new boyfriend. I'm screaming, crying, and throwing up. Dad, help. <laughs> Come on, chatter. The fuck? Why are you looking at your, ex, uh, your ex's profile still? Tanky is not question mark? Dude, what the fuck? How is that tanky? Like, people, liberals think everything is a fucking tanky. When you literally say it's good for the government to, like, forcibly bully mega corporations that it has, uh, you know, played a significant role in creating, i.e. every corporation in America, by the way, then it's totally fine and appropriate for the government to then say, hey, What's up? Uh, we're going to need $3 billion directly out of your fucking bank account. Uh, you need to liquidate some of your assets because, you know, we want to fucking fund a new road or we want to fund a new fucking initiative. We want to fund a new belt. One belt. Maybe a road. One road. Who knows? Maybe some, speed, uh, some, some super fast rail, you know? That's great. What do you, you don't want that? Like, what the fuck? I'm an advocate for taxes, dude. Wait, what the fuck? Top four J-Ball sales percentage. 51% the rest of the companies, and then 4% runs 49% of the, oh my lord. I had a girl from Tinder over to other night that we watch her Elden stream. She says you're boring as fuck to watch. KW still smash though. Says the Asian sensation. You should have never had sex with her. Literally should not have given her the satisfaction of, of experiencing the Asian sensation when she said such a clearly untrue statement. Also, why the fuck are you watching my streams when you have a girl over for the first time? What's wrong with you? There are lots of citizens who consider themselves as untouchable economic powers as if they're above the law.
2003년 Yumi started the work in October 2003. It was in May 2005 that she called her mom. Uh-oh. What's going to happen to Yumi, dude? This is not going somewhere good. She said that she was feeling sick and she had an upset stomach. We thought she must have eaten something bad and we told her to take some medicine. Oh, no. Yumi and her friend went to the hospital in Suwon. They admitted her right away and contacted me and her mom. Uh-oh. The doctor asked to talk to me out in the hallway. He, he said, Yumi has acute myeloid leukemia. After hearing that, it felt like the sky was falling down on me. My arms and legs were giving up. I was beyond fresh. I was pressure to be on words. I hooked up with a girl a while ago who says she tuned into your streams because you were hot, but thinks you're misogynistic and transphobic because of your neo pronouns discourse. First of all, you need to be a fucking mega fan to even know what my take is on neo pronouns for the record. Because I've talked about it one time, a singular time. I don't believe that story. I think you just made that up. I think that was your fucking take. Uh, I'm pretty sure you made that up. Nah, dude, you were clip chimped across TikTok. Wait, really? The neo pronoun shit really popped off too? I don't ever go on... Um, I don't ever go on TikTok, so I don't know. The <laughs> Her was falling out. She had chemotherapy. Why is he so happy describing this? Apart from the top four J balls in Korea, there are two dozen well known family owned conglomerates. Nut rage incident. When a schedule of flight changed its path due to violence and personal authority, the airplane security was at risk after the chief flight attendant, who has judicial authority, was commanded to leave the plane. What the fuck? The nut rage case highlighted the power and authority of the Chebols for the first time to foreigners who had no idea about them. Yeah, they're leaking Korea memes right now, pretty hard vices. This guy made a Chebol.com? There were many cases of Korean corporations and their abuse of power. But this is a very rare case where a member of Chebol was actually prosecuted. It has become common knowledge that the Chebols hold omnipotent power and no one can touch them. This is where they are given a three-year sentence later reduced to a five-year probation. The Chebol rule.
tax evasion. Eight month sentence commuted to two years probation. The primary reason for letting them out is because. Oh, nice. <laughs> because they've contributed greatly to the country's economy. Dude, I love. I love when when singular oligarch families contribute greatly to the fucking inter the the economy of a country. Yeah. No, I mean this is literally America by the way, straight up. Except in America they don't even go to jail, which is hilarious because, you know, again, the Sackler family. In the United States of America, there is one rule. Okay? There's one rule. And that is as long as you do not steal from the rich. If you're rich enough, you are never going to jail, okay? Like, you have to literally directly fucking admit to a crime while you're peeing on an HBO special uh, uh, and, and get caught in a hot mic, okay? American, uh, American CEOs don't even fucking go to jail or go to fucking court. They just have their lawyers do their uh, fighting for them. Our government and the people raised the Che balls. But now, they're controlling the government and the people through the judiciary system. I think the tides have turned. Samsung is the largest Che ball in our country. Those who work at the very bottom become disproportionately poorer. We are noticing that the gains of the Che Balls are coming from someone else's sacrifice. <coughs> yeah, I mean. Korea just came up with a new, uh, you know, with a new seasoning for just the the big corporate oligarchs. You know, they're they this dude is just describing capitalism. She couldn't eat; she was becoming skinny as a finger. Came home, and Yumi's grandmother, who lived with us, said, "How did our child come back like this?" I started to wonder how she got sick. I was thinking and thinking since started to get suspicious. Uh -oh. We don't know what the relationship with Che Ball and the cancer is yet. But she was working at Samsung and she got cancer. So she asked what kind of work she did at the factory. I guess she got cancer at the factory. Her job was to dip the round semiconductor wafers into various chemicals. Oh, shit. And then again and again into other chemicals. That she repeated this process. There was a manager from her workplace who visited the hospital once a week. Asked him, Yumi said she dipped the wafers into these chemicals. If that's true, couldn't you acknowledge this is as a work-related disease? Uh-oh. I requested the claim workers' compensation. Uh-oh, double uh-oh. Manager said, are you trying to win against such a large conglomerate like Samsung? By the way, manager, typical manager behavior, very cool. Homie didn't even say, oh, it's not even Samsung's fault. He was just like, you really think you can win against Samsung in arbitration? Straight up. They tried to appease Yumi's dad at first. They visited his house and talked about financial reimbursement. Fifty thousand, maybe fifty-five thousand. 
brought five checks. He said the company doesn't have money, so take it. Let's end it here. <laughs> he said the Samsung uh, uh, company does not have money. Take this 5,000. Shut the fuck up. So Samsung didn't have money, but wanted to wrap it quick. The most common way they bully these families with money. One factory, two female workers from the same team both died of leukemia. I wonder how that happened. <coughs> there was no proper protective equipment, no basic protection, not even covers. Workers kept dying, and the situation kept repeating itself. Remember that the DuPont Chemical uh, Corporation has actively continued to poison the American water supply and the American people uh, within the both the creation of Teflon and numerous other uh, types of, of uh, chemicals that they use. Uh, the PFA, uh, the PFAs that they use are are still poisoning us got raided lagoda thank you for the uh 1337 thank you for the raid i hope you had a good stream and the american government literally did fuck all about it Anita. Samsung denied the line about saying there are so many employees at the semiconductor facility factory. And only a small number get leukemia. <laughs> Think of truths about Samsung or fight against Samsung. In this country, this is often referred to as the Samsung Republic. Yeah, it's, it's literally the same. Only a small number of Hertz customers get Grand Theft Auto charges and become convicted felons despite not stealing a car. Uh, sorry, what do you want us to make sure? What do you want us to fucking make sure that like every single person that we have an active warrant against is committing actual Grand Theft Auto? I mean, come on, dude. Fucking chill, bro. We can say that Samsung is different from other companies. Chat's regular reminder that almost nobody has blood not contaminated with PFAs. They form a huge share of the market. As the cell phone and semiconductor business grew, Samsung took the lead in almost everything within the business sector after the 1997 financial crisis. They have an exorbitant amount of capital. They use this to influence politics, society, and the media. They're able to make social and political decisions go in their favor. This video doesn't cover the part where the U.S. didn't want South Korean economy to be centrally planned like it was in the 70s and 80s, and they brought in their IMF guns in the 90s, taking advantage of the Asian market crash. I mean, the alternative is like centrally run by a uh, dictator, but. Our country and the judicial branch has been leaning on the Che Balls, but even more so in the case of Samsung. They're outside of democratic control and have greatly distorted the way the country makes decisions. A hit piece on Samsung to increase Apple's market share. Vice is not slick. Yeah, totally, dude. Vice is in the pocket of Big Apple, baby. Three or four managers came here in their cars. 
Apple, of course, is notorious for safe uh, practices in their development. Yumi getting sick is a personal issue and has nothing to do with the company. Why are you trying to rip us off? Never once asked about her. On the 6th of March, 4.30 a.m., we went to the hospital for Yumi's treatment. On 6th of March, 4.30 Yumi's treatment, Yumi was laying down in the back and she said, it's so hot. I looked back and she was sweating so much, Jesus Christ. A while later, Yumi's mom turned around and looked at her and said, what is happening to her? Took her last breath. Jesus Christ, dude. She died at the fucking age of 21 from blood cancer that she got working in the fucking Samsung factory. Coach the Occupational Health Authority under the Ministry of Labor and the police is who they were fighting against. I explained the Samsung and turned in false paperwork. And then Yumi worked in the same place from the start. Thank you, anonymous user, for the ten gifted subs. Oh, they also control the press through advertisements, which is, of course, very different than what we have here in the United States, where our free press is, of course, completely independent and like not run by straight up fucking billionaires are either press billionaires or billionaires as a consequence of like owning a monopoly um you know uh jeff bezos certainly would never go and purchase like one of the largest newspapers on on the planet or no one of the largest newspapers in america sorry um or or even when they don't directly own it for example they would certainly not um control the the information by way of all the advertisement the press relies on to continue Samsung had a list of people who protested in front of their building 
아마 1인 시위를 오래 했던 사람들의 명단을 이렇게 좀 만들어놔요. 뭐 저기에 있는 저런 지명수배. It looks like that wanted poster over there. It's the same format. 그 양식이 똑같은 양식인데 거기 제일 윗줄에 뭐라고 써있냐면 Titled most valuable customer at the top. They're mocking the victims. They mocked the father who lost his daughter just because he protested in front of their father of late Huang Yumi, leukemia related core person, one track minded, hot temperament, height 160 centimeters, regular size. Certainly not large. It's certainly not further backed up by large creators who don't like getting too deep into politics. What do you mean? Yumi's friends, my friends, from Yumi's work came. I was excited to watch this video. This video sucks, dude. It's like fucking hurting my soul. Any chatter that says that this is worse than America does not know like half the shit the United States of America does. You're crazy. You're out of your mind if you think this is what the fuck do you think America does, dude? No, we do exactly the same shit. We also kill humans that are not even working in the corporations. What do you mean? This is like every fucking day. Oh, he said, this is why Apple's more moral than Samsung. He said, he put a slash sarcasm, dude. Sarcastic. <laughs> outdated now but Amazon literally had paramedics at hot warehouses rather than install air conditioning I love that the snopes it says outdated Amazon told their workers to stay inside of a facility when the tornado warning was happening and people fucking died Did we already forget about the conditions of meatpacking industries, man? Shadows of short memory, serious yeah, amputations, two amputations a week, the cost of working at a US, a U.S. meat plant. Also, the other part of this is the, the part that you don't even hear about. So now, one, you have national, like, you know, you have U.S. workers, right? American workers. And then you have a further exploited class of secondary citizens who are not citizens. Undocumented immigrants. The entirety of our agricultural production relies on undocumented immigrants. Like all these corporations use undocumented immigrants, um, including uh, the the uh, meat, including the meat production and the poultry production. And one of the most common processes is like there's rapes that run rampant. There's uh, sexual harassment. There's a fuckload of back pay. Uh, there's a fuckload of wages that uh, are never given to uh, the undocumented workers and especially when they like ever organize 
or demand some, the, their back pay, they literally will fucking turn around and call the INS or ICE on their own fucking workers. And then immediately, like the day after they call ICE and they pay the fucking, uh, they pay the bill, okay, a little slap on the wrist for, for having undocumented workers. The day after, they'll go back and hire on a new crop of undocumented immigrants. This is what we're doing inside of the United States, inside of U.S. borders. Uh, this is before we even get to what American corporations and like Western corporations, but American corporations specifically as well, if we're going to talk about America, do in developing nations, uh, all the way ranging from the assassination by hit squads of labor union leaders, uh, <coughs> Coca-Cola, to uh, you know the old Foxconn facilities that had suicide nets, uh, to Nestle uh, literally using slave labor, but as long as it's outsourced uh, and, and uh, that it's like a third-party slave labor, that's totally fine. Um, allowed. Literally allowed. That's not even a joke. Nestle, uh, famous case with Nestle, went all the way to the Supreme Court recently, like a couple months ago, and... Um, and uh, most, or not most, but uh, the, the Supreme Court found that, or in a ruling, found that as long as it was a third-party slave labor, that, you know, you could, you could subcontract out the slavery and you could continue doing that, uh, and it was legal. What's wrong with your haters? They're making weird donations about you and other streams. Like, how much do these people hate you? Um, dude, I don't know. I hope the streamers themselves are aware of how fucking psychotic my haters are and and realize that that's insane Oh, Samsung apologized in 2018. Look at that. Wow. Um. It was 11 years and 8 months after Yumi's death. Video bum me out, dude. Holy shit. 재벌의 경제력 집중이라는 것이 법의 집에 민주주의에 대한 근본적인 도전이다라고 볼 수가 있다는 것이. 아마존이든 뭐 삼성이든. 또는 뭐 페이스북이든 사실은 이제 그 모든 것들을 자기 중심적으로 어그 자원을 결국 독점하게 만든. According to the study, a lot of the photo resist uh, chemicals used in wafer manufacturing are trade secrets or the toxicology not specified in material safety data sheets. Sounds a lot like asbestos and other workplace safety scandals trying to hide information. Yeah. 
corporate secrets, man. You know, you got to fucking, you got to keep them a secret. You, it's, it's for profit, actually. Well, no, it's not. It's literally so that you can hide. It's not so that uh, other corporations figure out your, your chemicals, but instead it's so that, you know, fucking... So that people don't know the toxic chemicals that they're handling without proper protection. I did see DuPont. Compensation in the same year Samsung posted 59.53.9 billion in profits. Lighter content video you wanted to watch? Trans versus conservative men? You think that's lighter content? Lighter content. It's for sure lighter than corporate murder. I mean, yeah, but still. Insanity, dude. Okay, this is the last thing I wanted to show. Wait, uh, uh, Ryan Grimm asked Inhan Omar if the U.S. should buy Venezuelan and Iranian oil. And Maduro said publicly that if, if the United States wants to buy Venezuelan oil, he's more than happy to sell it to the United States. The refineries in the Gulf are, are built specifically for Venezuelan crude. And there's also the ongoing talks with Iran. Uh, we, we get reports.